Ladies and gentlemen, Hims is under a full-scale assault by Hunter Burke Research. Do their claims have merit? Let's find out. So anyway, yeah, let's just get start, get right into it. Hims and hers selling GLP-1 injection that's not FDA approved from Shady Supplier. We'll get into that and won't make you talk to a doctor to get it. So I'm going to go through each of their major points one by one, and then I'll offer my response. Um, just see, you know, is there any merit to this? And here is Shama. She says to like and subscribe. So anyway, um, as you can see, after Hunter Book Research issued their report, him stock has plummeted. Him stock is currently twenty dollars and nineteen cents. By the time you see this video, it'll be a little bit different because I'm recording this one day prior. So anyway, what's going on here? Now keep it in mind. This is actually a little bit of market manipulation. So what happened is Hunter Brook Capital is shorting HIMS stock, and they are tied to Hunter Brook Media. <laughs> so Hunter Brook Capital shorts the stock. Hunter Brook Media then releases this report. Stock goes down, and then they make money. That's basically what's happening here. And I think it's market manipulation. But let's go into it. Let's see if it has any merit. That's the important part. Does it have merit? Okay, so if you look at the re report, the first thing they discuss is this. They discuss two um, user stories. The first one says, I felt like death in bed. Research recounts a Reddit user describing their harrowing experience with a knockoff GLP-1 weight loss drug. I'm adding emphasis just imagining that I am the one that wrote this. <laughs> okay, so who was this person? This person was actually this Reddit user. And they say this, Hello all, I saw everyone posting their progress, so I thought I might join as well. I'm five foot five with a starting weight of 200 pounds and a goal weight of 165 pounds. I started my first treatment on Thursday. So far, so good, except there was a misread on the instructions. And I accidentally doubled the dosage of my medication. They took 25 units instead of 10 units. So it's actually, they took two and a half times the prescribed medication. And I'll just say, I'm not a doctor, I'm not, I'm not a medical doctor, but don't do that. Don't do that with any medication. Don't take don't ever take more than your prescribed medication for anything. Tylenol. If you take too much Tylenol, you'll have problems. If you take too much of any medication, you're going to have problems. So just keep an eye on that. But um, this was just complete user error. So let's go back to the article again. So I was too nauseous to even drive or walk to the mailbox. Another patient accidentally doubled their dosage leading to days of mis misery. Honestly, this was the worst experience ever, and I hope no one has to go through that. See how they're sort of exaggerating here, but at least on this one, the, the article Hunter Brook admits that they overdosed. So let's go to the second one. Semaglutide overdose. So this is the second person. I started the HERS component, semaglutide, semi some glutide, I sound like Biden now, <laughs> on Saturday, accidentally taking too much. I was supposed to start at um, a quarter milligram, but took half a milligram. Uh, my question, had anyone else taken too much? What were your symptoms? Um, when were you able to start eating again? And so on and so forth, and they list their symptoms. So yeah, again, an overdose, it's unfortunate, but it is user error, and they admit that it's user error, and that's you can't really take this against um, against Hims. It's not Hims' fault that they overdosed. Um, it's just unfortunate, um, but yeah, they have to keep mine in the future. Just don't do that. So yeah, these two alleged patients, both of whom exchanged messages with Hunter Brook Media, appear to be part of what. Dr. Angela Fitch, former director of Massachusetts General Hospital Weight Center, has called the largest uncontrolled, unconsented human experiment of our lifetime. Ain't those the words. <laughs> Exaggerate much? <laughs> but anyway, um, just because they overdosed doesn't mean that this is some uncontrolled, un just mitigated disaster. They, they overdosed. That's all this is. 
they're exaggerating. So anyway, let's continue. What else? So so far you got nothing. How to break? What else do you got? Unlike the name brand GLP-1 drugs Ozempic and Wegovy sold by Big Pharma, him sells injections that have not been FDA approved. The company is doing so through F FDA loophole that enables facilities called compounding pharmacies to sell their own versions of patented drugs during shortages. Okay, so that is correct in the first part that this is not an FDA approved medication. FDA is allowing it, but this is not FDA approved. Um, however, I would not call this a loophole. Calling this a loophole indicates it's just not the right word. It's like a scary, they're, they're trying to scare you. This is FUD. Remember, they're trying to scare you into selling him stock. This, that's all this article is trying to do, is to scare you. Now, what does the FDA actually say? This is FDA's website. You can see the URL. This is FDA's website. So, can semaglutide be compounded? When a drug is in shortage, so they have, this is an exemption. This is not a loophole, this is an exemption. When a drug is in shortage, compounders may be able to prepare a compounded version of that drug if they meet certain requirements in the F or Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. As of May 2023, Ozempic and Wegovy are both listed on FDA's drug shortages list. So it's allowed. It's allowed, but it's not It's not FDA approved. That's what I'm trying to say. And yeah, so it's just FUD complete. So they're, they're still banning zero, still banning zero. Okay, so Hunter Brick, now what do you have? What do you got for me? Give me something, give me something, give me something. But a Hunter, Hunter Brick media investigation reveals that the compounder HIMS has partnered with a manufacturer of these drugs. BPI Labs LLC is wholly owned by Belcher Pharmaceuticals LLC, a business with a history of FDA scrutiny and former executives convicted of fraud. Scary. In one case, two executives from Belcher were convicted and sentenced to prison time in what the Department of Justice called a nationwide telemedicine pharmacy healthcare fraud conspiracy. The GLP-1 drugs that him sells are produced by a Belcher-owned subs subsidiary. So again, that's my Biden syndrome. <laughs> and Hems does not appear to be prescribing through a particularly rig rigorous process, according to conversations with multiple patients. Um, so yeah, what's going on here? I'll go into it in just one second, but actually Belcher responded. Here's Belcher's response. And actually, um, Hunterberg included this in their article, so good on them for that. Um, so Hunt Belcher said, Neither BPI nor Belcher have any history of criminal convictions, a spokesperson told Hunter Brook Media in a written statement. The primary allegation against Belcher was wrongful discharge based on matter, as I see, unrelated to Belcher on issues related to Mihir Tanija were unrelated to Belcher BPI. Additionally, Mihir Tanija has not been associated with Belcher BPI as an employee, owner, or officer for over five years. So what's going on here is um, Hunter Brook is, is, they're really reaching here. Going back five years, they're really reaching because Hims it's only been contracting this medicine from this company for a couple of months. A couple of months. So they're reaching back to some random person that they're associated with five years ago saying, oh, well, they did this, 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 and that, but they haven't been with the company for five years. What does that have anything to do with what's happening now? It has nothing to do with what is happening now. It's just, it's nonsense. So, Hunter Brook, you're batting zero, you're batting zero. So what else do you got? An FDA legal expert told Hunter Brook Media that HIMS may have opened itself up to liability with its compounding business. Risking litigation from big pharma and regulatory intervention from the federal government. The company is also risking the health of its patients, according to multiple obesity doctors who spoke with Hunterbrook. Okay, so a lot to unfold here. What's going on? 
Okay, so number one, the FDA has not done anything against HIMSS. There is no action from the FDA against HIMSS. This may imply otherwise, you know, an FDA legal expert, but no, the FDA has done nothing against HIMSS. Um, and it's also done nothing against Spelcher BPI for their um, GLP-1 compounded product. It's done nothing. Why? Because nothing's happened. Nothing's wrong with the product. Now, will they do something? I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a member of the FDA. I don't know. So will they do something? Who knows? They have done stuff against you know fakes and counterfeits, but this product is not a counterfeit. Let me show you. So what do we have here? Um, Oh yeah, and also the FDA allows compounded medicine. So it's kind of a legal area where, again, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, but they already say this is allowed. So as long as you're not doing anything crazy or counterfeiting or dangerous, I think it should be fine. Not a lawyer, but I think it should be fine. So what do we have here? So we have actually two Reddit um, channels. Actually, I suggest you following both of them. They're both really good. There's him's weight loss and there's hers weight loss. And what people do is they actually post about their journey through him's and hers uh, weight loss products. And they basically give you weekly updates. You know, this is week one. This is my progress. Week two, this is my, uh, let, I'll show you. And this is actually the front page of that website just eight hours ago. And this person posting their progress. Um, this is not GLP-1. This is actually using one of their kits. But still, you'll see ones that use GLP-1. Here's a user that uses GLP-1, posted two days ago. I was down about 20 pounds by week three. Just keep at it. 20 pounds in three weeks. The product works, and it works well. The one thing I will add is that when you use this product, um, basically follow this guy's advice. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Not a doctor. But what I think is that um, you should sort of pair it with dieting because you're not going to eat as much. What these drugs do is they sort of squelch your appetite cravings. So when you do eat, you got to eat good. You got to be on a diet and you got to eat good food. Don't just eat junk food. Please don't eat junk food. And um, just keep in mind that and also exercise. If you exercise, diet, and take these medications, you should lose weight soon and quickly. Not a doctor, but you can just go to that website and see other people's progress. Just watch their progress as they lose weight. So yeah, as this, la as this person says, the last sentence, diet is key though. Okay, so... What else do you got? What else do you got? Hunter Brook, you're batting zero. You're batting zero. But the marketplace for these medications has gone haywire. Now they claim counterfeit. Counterfeit GLP-1 drugs have become, as Catherine Eben wrote, in a Vanity Fair investigation, a hot commodity among transnational crime groups, homegrown counterfeiters, rogue compounders, shady middlemen, unscrupulous doctors, and media spas of dubious legality. Hunter Brook, I ask you this. What does this have to do with hymns? Nothing. This has nothing at all to do with hymns. Half their article is based off of this nonsense of what other companies did. Oh, this company did this. Oh, that company did that. Oh, that company's been naughty. That company's been naughtier. They've gotten in trouble. So, Hems hasn't done those things. Hems has not done those things. The product is good and the product works. Who cares what these other companies do? It's a um, sort of detour and they're sort of, it's nonsense. It's nonsense. Hunter Burke, you're disappointing me. You guys are not Hindenburg. If this was Hindenburg, they would actually be posting factual things to be worried about. But Hunter Brook, you're not Hindenburg. What else do you got? What else do you got? A Hunter Brook media reporter qualified as eligible for GLP 
won drugs with Hims after completing a four-minute survey and received a prescription under an hour after submitting it without speaking to a doctor or submitting medical records. Okay, so a couple pieces here. Number one, I've taken the survey myself. Actually, I'll create a separate video where I, I go through each step in that survey. It, the survey is about 60 questions, and um, it took me a lot longer than four minutes. Um, I'll just say that. In terms of whether or not you need to see a doctor, that's based on your state. So if you think you, you should be seeing a doctor for these medications and your state doesn't you know, have that requirement, talk to your congressperson. Talk to your state government. Say, hey, you know what? The, you sh people should be seeing a doctor for this. Talk to them. Pass a law. They should hear the government, not Tim's. Moving on. This was the opening Hims needed. Partnering with BPI, Hims is offering a compounded version of semi-glutide, blah, 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 blah. So actually, what's kind of weird here is they print, they're kind of painting this as a bad thing, but the, the, here's the reality. Hims has taken a product that can run you $1,400 per month and selling it to you as a generic compounded version due to the shortages issue at $200 per month. This saves lives. This saves lives. And Hunter Brook is attacking HIMSS for saving people's lives by helping them lose weight. That is what is happening here. Um, and yeah, it's just crazy. It is insanity. It is insanity. Now, it is correct. Hims doesn't accept insurance, but the thing is, um, few insurance companies cover these drugs because it's just too expensive. So this is actually few companies cover the branded versions of these drugs. So what would you rather spend four hundred dollars a month, or would you rather spend two hundred dollars a month? But also keep in mind, um, the FDA specifically said that this exemption is because of the shortage. The moment that these branded drugs become, you know, non-shortage scenarios, um, the generics will go away until the patents run out. That's what's going to happen. So th this is actually a short-term thing. I don't know when the um, branded medications will become um, fully supplied, but when it does, these generics will go away. But the good thing is that Hims also sells the branded products. You can get. Ozempic and Wegovy through Hims. They're out of stock, but when they get in stock, they will be available. So yeah, what do I think? Hunterbrook, you struck out. I think Hims is a great company and they're going in the right direction. I think the drug works. Again, go on Reddit, follow the drug and see for yourself what actual users say about the medication. That is the most important thing. So yeah, with that said, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.